the technology degree tier list for 2023. In today's videos, we are gonna be ranking technology majors from S tier, which is the best, to F tier, which is the worst. Now I'm doing it this year a little bit differently. I added in a key metric, which I think is super, super important. And that is the demand at the entry level. In past years, I did talk about the demand, of course, but I talked about the demand for the career as a whole. But the truth is there are many careers out there where there's a ton of demand, but there isn't a lot at the entry level. So that is a key stat that I'm including in this year's list. I think it's gonna make the list even better. If you appreciate videos like this, go ahead and let me know by ruthlessly tearing that like button up like a polar bear that just found a seal. All right, first one on the list, do I even need to say anything? Computer science, it's S tier. Do I even need to go over the stats? Ah! All right, all right, I'll go over the stats. If you look at Glassdoor, you put in the keywords computer science, you're gonna see $91,000 a year for the average yearly salary. And if you type in computer science on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see 191,000 results. Need I say more, phenomenal career, phenomenal degree, clearly goes into S tier. Next one on the list is information technology. Now, if you look this one up on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $74,000 a year. If you look it up on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see 218,000 results. So a ton of opportunity for information technology. Now, I will say this is one where I do have mixed feelings on it because as a degree, it is good. Don't get me wrong, it is good. I don't think it's a scam or anything like that. The only problem is there's just better ways to get into IT. The entry level position for IT is IT help desk. And there are many other ways to get into that entry level position. For instance, you can self study, you can do certificates, etc. One company that is phenomenal at helping people get into these entry level tech jobs is Course Careers. I have an entire playlist dedicated to people who've gotten jobs with Course Careers. You can definitely check that out. And if you're interested, they do have a free training, which you can check out down in the description, as well as the pinned comment below. And they also offer an advanced service where they're going to train you even more deeply, and they're going to get you guaranteed interviews so that's really great. Definitely check that out. If you choose to go with the advanced service, I do have a $50 off coupon, which is Shane50. But yeah, information technology goes into B tier overall as a degree. Next one on the list is information technology management. All right, so this one is very similar to information technology, but it's combined with some management and leadership skills. You type this one in on Glassdoor, you're gonna see $124,000 a year. And if you type it in on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 46,000 results. And yeah, again, uh, this one is a better degree, but still I would recommend just getting into IT uh, by using course careers or doing some sort of certification, something along those lines, and then just self-teaching, get yourself that first entry-level help desk job. Once you got about a year or two of experience, you are good to go. However, this one is gonna go into A tier. Next one on the list is cybersecurity. It's a really valuable one. With this one on Glassdoor, you'd expect to make about $84,000 a year. If you type in cybersecurity on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 107,000 results. So yeah, this is another one where it is possible to break into it without a degree but with that being said, the degree itself is really good. I'm gonna put this one into A tier. Next one on the list is very similar and that is going to be information security and assurance. With this one, you'd expect to make about $90,000 a year. And if you look it up on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 141,000 results. So again, really good degree. It's one that you can get into without a degree. That's the great thing about technology, honestly, is there's many different ways to get into it. For some people, degree is gonna be good. For some people, they might wanna self-study, get some certs, et cetera. But yeah, this one also goes into A tier. Next one on the list is information science. With this one, you'd expect to make about $101,000 a year. And if you type it in on LinkedIn, you're gonna see about 49,000 results. So this one, I'm also putting into A tier this year. Really solid option overall. Next one on the list is computer graphics technology. With this one, you'd expect to make about $59,000 a year. And if you type it in on LinkedIn, there's only about 3,900 results, which is not very good for a technology degree or a technology career. This one goes into to D tier. Next one on the list is telecommunications. With this one, you'd expect to make about $73,000 a year. And if you type it in on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 54,000 results. So it's not good, but it's also not bad. I'm gonna put this one right in the middle in C tier. Next one on the list is network administration. With this one, you'd expect to make about $72,000 a year. And if you look it up on LinkedIn at the entry level, you're gonna see 33,000 results. So overall, not terrible degree. 
Um, but this is technology degrees. There's a lot of really good ones, honestly. So this one I have to put into D tier. And then next is gonna be computer information systems or management information systems. Uh, this is one of my favorite degrees overall. Uh, suffice it to say, this one definitely is gonna go into S tier. A lot of different career paths you can go into. I'm not even gonna do the Glassdoor or the LinkedIn here because it's basically a combination of business skills and technology skills. And there's just so many different career paths you can go into. It basically just opens up all kinds of different doors. So yeah, that one's definitely S tier. One person who got a management information systems degree is my friend Antoine from the YouTube channel Black Heights. And I actually interviewed him on this channel and he did a bunch of different careers in technology after getting his MIS degree. And he actually makes over $540,000 a year. So you should definitely check that interview out right here.